Hey guys, it's GHP, and welcome back to our Dead Reckoning review. Today we're going to be looking at, looking at cards number 5 through 7, so three new cards uh, of the 25 card, uh, I guess, adventure or expansion, campaign, whatever you want to call it. So let's start with Tripwire Gretadin. So it's a 2 mana 1 2, which is pretty hard cluster, but it's a, and it's a Gretadin, but its abilities are deal 1 damage, and when it dies, deal 1 damage. Um, so initially, your best case scenario. I sure hope you can't hear that that quad outside. That would be real annoying because um, I am not filming this twice. Back on topic, uh, Tripwire Gretadin clearly reads: Can I kill an Oni Ronin? Can I kill a Pyro Knight? Uh, can I trade with a Crown Wash Paladin? Things like that. The problem is the cards that cause a Gretadin deck issues that are aggressive are the cards like Champion of Chaos, Arjaport Instigator, Bandit Queen, Vicious Highway Med, things that already get that don't get blocked by Gretadin Drone. That's the problem. This card is wor worse than Spark Hatcher, which is a card that not every Gretadin's deck play. I think without the Gretadin's payoff, this card's abysmal. But, I think in a world where you're like, well, I'm playing against a lot of these Oni running decks, I'm playing as just things with one health. I don't think this does enough. If you're playing Gretadin, you need to be playing Shadow. Boom, Vera's favor. You have Torch, you have Assembly Line, you have Gretadin Drone. You have all the tools to shit out an aggro deck with ease. I don't think this card does particularly large amounts. I don't think the fact that it triggers twice is relevant. Because it doesn't deal two damage in one turn. Almost ever. Um, unless you play it and sack it, it doesn't happen. And that's not really worth the payoff. I don't think this card's very good. Um, I think it's really cool. I love cards like this. I just don't think this card's going to see any play, because I just don't think its effect is anywhere near powerful enough for the Gretadin deck, and without the Gretadin Synergy, this is just a below average card, in my opinion. So personally, I'm going to give it like a not seeing play type of rating here, it's just I don't think it's particularly good. Want to talk about a card that is also probably not particularly good? Yep, Metodic Wisp. So I'm going to specify a rules thing that's been confirmed by Scarlatch. Which set the ultimate. Um, this card needs to see seven things die. But now let's read the card. It's a two mana Xenon 03 flyer. And it's a wisp. That's not good. But let's, your radiance costs one less. Sure, now I'm wondering why I'm not playing Trailmaker. Ultimate, when seven other units go to the void. Not just yours. Seven units. And Spore Folk triggers this. Draw a radiant of your choice from your deck. So, the problem with this is there's not that many good radiants in the game. Another thing is, this doesn't deal with aggressive decks very well. And you need to see a lot of shit die with this card in play. Like, this card just, <coughs> it's not doing anything. Like, Look at Seropod Rangor, a card that doesn't really see any play, or at least not a ton. And Seropod Rangor, Rangor comes out an actual body. It can block something. It can trade with something. It's mind-boggling that it can trade with something and help you with mana. Oh boy. I don't think this card's very good. Um... And the reason for it is the payoff for Radiance isn't that good. This takes so long to turn on that I don't think it's going to turn on very easily. Um, and the options we have for Radiance, like, let's just take a look. Let's go to the cards here. So I'll take this off the screen. And let's take a look at the Radiance that we currently have in the game. I think I have them all. What are the notable? That's not... I didn't know it wasn't poor. Okay, Don Walker's pretty good. Good card. Back into Lumen, okay, but you need to be playing Life Force. Uh, Lumen Reclaimer is not worth the payoff. Prophecy's not great. Wisp is just not good. Tidekeeper's not good. Guardian's not good. Lumen Defender's not great. It wouldn't be worth the payoff. Uh, Wasted Diffuser's okay. Uh, 
Dream Snatcher is an interesting one. I guess that one's possible. Steward's not worth it. Reaper's not great. Shadow and Silent's not great. Like, I don't... None of these cards here are worth putting a card in your deck that eventually tutors for them. It's not worth the card. So, going back to the screen here, I just don't think this card is doing anything. It's not particularly powerful. It's so hard to turn this card on that... Why are you playing it over actually just playing a card that does something? You want to play a Radiant Tribal deck? Sure, but play more impactful cards. Like, if you want to play a Ramp spell in that deck, play... Okay, play Initiative Sense, play Trailmaker, play something proactive. Because this card's actually just going to do nothing. And if I just want a Ramp spell and I don't care about the body, why didn't I play Power Stone? I don't think this card's very good. I don't think it's good enough for a Radiance deck. Uh, even if a Radiance deck exists, I just don't think it does enough for it. But don't worry, guys. We're not entirely pessimistic today. We got a Hailstorm. Uh, Hailstorm is interesting. So it's 3 mana, double primal, sorcery speed, or slow speed, I guess. Tier 3 damage to each unit. So it's Lightning Storm with one extra mana cost, one extra primal, and it deals one extra damage. So I'm going to talk about Lightning Storm for a moment before I actually tell you what I think of this card. Lightning Storm isn't actually a good card, and the reason for it is it's not actually good against aggro decks currently. Uh, Unseen Commando, Valkyrie Enforcer, Champion of Glory, Aegis Units, Archipoint Instigator, Champion of Chaos, all of these units that see tons of play. Don't die to Lightning Storm. Steady Marshall doesn't really die in a lightning storm. And if your one drop's not even dying to storm, why are you playing storm? Like, storm just doesn't do enough. Do notice, I just listed a bunch of cards with three health. Hailstorm says three. And even though it costs three, a deck like Felt Control doesn't care. A deck like Akaria Blue doesn't care. A deck like Tin Pile. Or, I believe he calls it Total Re total Recall? I think that's what it is. Um, which, shout out to that guy for making cool decks. Decks like that are like, I'll pay the extra mana, give me. This card, being a sweeper that's actually good against aggro that doesn't cost 5, is crazy good. Devastating Setback is a card that I'm still not a fan of, even after the buffs. Why? Because it doesn't actually kill that many aggro decks. Sure, it's good against the turn one Oni, turn two Outlaw, turn three Assembly Line. I'll scoop up my, I'll scoop up now because I lost to a board wipe. But the chances of that type of draw happening are just so low now. I think this card is huge, and I think it's going to help uh, the control decks right now. Even though they're already pretty okay against aggro decks, this is the last thing they really needed to submit the nail at the coffin a lot of the times. Um, I don't think Lightning Storm's gonna see any play anymore. I think this card is better than Storm. I think even in three color decks, you could argue that Double Primal could be a problem. But you build your three color decks with uh, Double Primal in mind, anyways, because you're playing Wisdom of the Elders. I think this card's like a ten out of ten. Um, I think this card's gonna see a ton of play, and I think this card could be a format to find a card. And I say that because it's so powerful that it could push a card. Like, Unseen Commando down a notch, for example. Which is really weird to say, but it's true. Unseen Commando is so powerful, but when it can be effectively answered so much easier now, it gets a lot worse. I think Hailstorm has potential to warp the format in a weird way. Uh, Agro decks don't really have a lot of X4s and stuff, but they, I think cards like Statue... Don't screw this up on camera. Statuary Maiden get a lot better with cards like this. And I want to play Maiden in this card the same deck. It's I played Felon's card got better with this card for sure. Um, I think this card is going to see a ton of play. I'm really excited to play with it. Um, do note that Huru has gotten two really good cards in this and the Owl. And the Owl doesn't die to this. They go in the same deck if you play Huru Control, boys. Huru Control got better as well from this. Uh, even though I didn't mention it earlier, how Temporal got better. Ugh. 
I am really excited this card got printed. I think we all knew this card would get printed in some way eventually. Um, I think the double primal restriction is a good idea. Uh, and I'm definitely happy that it's a primal card because they need a better removal. Primal is the worst faction in the game, and it got a really good card here, and I'm happy for it. I'm really happy to see that it got this card. Uh, but that's going to be my review of these three cards. Uh, I'm excited for the rest of the expansion. Um, a lot of the cards have been interesting. We've we've gotten a couple of really good cards, but nothing stellar yet. Well, okay, not a lot of stellar, but like Hailstorm and the Owl is enough for me to buy the expansion. So I'm really excited uh, for this expansion. Hopefully you guys are too. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.